Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the second flight for the Let's Go Bl Brandon Blimp. We uh, we set up the better camera this time, so we're not going to be using the potato this time. And one of the cool things about our new camera is that we can move it around. Yeah, and by the way, this is Chris, in case anyone is wondering who I am. I'll be your narrator for this flight. Because the buzzing doesn't sound very great. Let's see what everyone's doing. I'm actually in the uh, new IRL studio right now, remote controlling this. So I am not communicating with them, but I am controlling the camera. I think it might be windier today than it was yesterday, so hope we don't crash. So in case anyone's wondering, it's basically a big balloon filled with helium. <laughs> and uh, it has like a sort of like a drone type control fan system. There's Chicken City, and there's our shadow. This is the second test flight for the Let's Go Brandon Traveler. See if we crash into the house over here.
This thing can go like a mile high, supposedly. But I think everyone's too scared to do that. Here you can see the patio and a green garden hose that goes over towards Chicken City. We also have a trampoline and a barbecue grill sitting in the middle of the lawn. For everyone joining us, this is the second test flight for the Let's Go Brandon Traveler. We've set up a better quality potato camera. And we're testing it out right now. I have no idea what they're talking about right now. Probably something about the blimp. Or they're talking about grass, because there seems to be a lot of grass here right now. For anyone wondering, I'm currently at the public library, so I can't be too loud. I have no idea what they're talking about. And I was just kidding about being at a library. I'm currently in the new IRL studio. But Ian is sleeping on the table here, so I can't be too loud. Can anyone read lips? We have no idea what they're saying. And we could use assistance. I think a microphone on the blimp would actually be kind of annoying. Like yesterday's um, stream, our first test flight, we actually duct taped my cell phone to the blimp and live streamed that way without being able to control it. So not only was it frightening for me, but it was also being streamed through uh, 4G cell. So it was 
very terrible. believe they're talking about the cool tricks they were doing before we started live streaming today they were doing barrel rolls and 360 flips with the blimp but we didn't catch any of that on camera No idea where we're going right now. Probably up. I'm really hoping that they fly this a mile high. I just don't know if we'd be able to control it. <clears throat> and anyone who's wondering, uh, this was created because Wikipedia claims that Tim didn't have one, but now there seems to be a dispute with... Uh, the Wikipedia moderators, someone added the new entry explaining that Tim did create this blimp, and then a moderator went in and uh, removed it. So there's some sort of duel going on now with his Wikipedia page. And they put a, what is it, it's semi-locked, which means you have to be a Wikipedia user with like 10 edits in your past in order to edit it now. So they're really trying to stop Tim from being correct, which is terrible. There's a cat. Too bad I can't zoom in. His name is Bucko, or I guess some people call him Buckus. And he seems to be exploring. Here we are doxing our house. Now you know what it looks like, although you probably already knew what it looked like. And now you know that there's a mountain nearby. This is the, I don't even know what to call it, the, uh, the system on the balloon. It can carry about one kilogram after, after you put on the batteries and camera system. You have about one kilogram extra that you can put on there, which isn't much, but it is a good amount. Being able to move a one kilo of, of substance from one place to another can be very lucrative, depending on what it is. Like one kilogram of gold, for example. You can see that our trees are all getting ready for winter by shedding their leaves. 
There's the helium tank that we used to fill up the balloon. You can see right there, the blue 260 cubic foot tank, I believe. And there's Buckus again. And here we have our ground crew, which is controlling the motions of the blimp. I'm up in the Timcast IRL studio, controlling the camera and narrating live. Seems like the camera likes to stay positioned even when the balloon turns, the camera just stays focused on one direction. I didn't design the camera system, so I was unaware of that, but it's a pretty cool perk. Here we have the backyard of the castle compound. It's where we keep most of our grass. For anyone who's tuning in now, this is the second flight, test flight for our Let's Go Brandon Traveler blimp. We upgraded the camera system so we're not using yesterday's potato camera which was actually a cell phone duct taped to the blimp. And now we have a remote control GoPro type. Maybe it even is a GoPro, I'm not sure. I can't see the camera. I'm pretty sure the blimp could go up to, I don't know, probably two miles away. I'm not sure if he's trying to talk to us. No, nope, he's talking to Andy over there. That's Andy, our chief technical officer. And over here we've got Nick, our videographer. He does the all of the vlogs for this channel. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and all of that stuff. I'm currently in the Timcast IRL studio and have no idea what they're saying. Although I can guess. They're probably talking about the blimp. We're kind of limited to how high we can bring it because of the trees. If it were to crash into a tree, it would be terrible. So we'll probably have a much better flight if we bring this to Freedomistan because we've got a lot more open field over there. We'll probably have better takeoff and landing security. Our blimp is using helium and not hydrogen like the Hindenburg was. So it wouldn't burst into flames if we crash it. Here you can see uh, an awesome red Pontiac Fiero. Isn't it awesome? No, I'm just kidding. It's terrible. There's another one over there. 
And here's Luke's RV. Give you a tour of the compound, I suppose. We've got some skate rails and skate ramps, our dirt bikes. This is our hangar where we're keeping the blimp. I'm not sure if he's trying to put it away right now. We've got American flags hanging on Luke's RV. He seems to be a fan. Instead of moving the bikes, they're just going to try to guide it around them. I hope everything goes well. It looks like they're currently putting it away for storage again in the Cast Castle hangar. For anyone wondering, I am not Tim, I am Chris. Tim has currently gone to the store to go get salami because we are all out. You'll probably be able to hear what they're talking about in the vlog tomorrow, but right now, we can only guess. They're probably talking about blimps and probably talking about Tim behind his back. For anyone tuning in, it looks like they're putting the blimp away in the hangar now. I'm currently in the Timcast IRL studio, remote controlling the camera and live streaming. If you're tuning in right now, then you just missed the flight, but you'll be able to watch it over, but it won't be live because that's how that works. probably wondering why I'm still live streaming right now. This green thing in front of the camera is a skate rail that is in the hangar skate park. I was kind of thinking you could just tape a giant balloon to a drone and it probably would be able to lift it. 
because it couldn't possibly weigh that much. So the similarities between a drone with a plastic bag taped to the top of it and a blimp are not very big, but they definitely would work in a different way. I think he's making an airplane with his hand right now and showing how it would maneuver. Or he's doing the wax on, wax off dance. I really doubt they're going to bring the blimp back outside of the hangar, so we probably won't see it fly again. Here's our electric bikes, and here we have a dumbbell being used as an anchor for the blimp. These are the fans that lift the blimp. He's definitely pretending to wash something. Maybe he's telling Andy how to wash the blimp. Right, this stream is probably going to end soon. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't seen today's Cast Castle vlog, go check that out. We basically show yesterday when we assembled the balloon just before taking it out for the first live stream. Hopefully our next flight will be the one where we go about a mile into the air and drop pamphlets over DC.
I guess he's telling him how to disconnect and reconnect stuff. And how to control it. I'm actually not sure if Andy had a chance to fly the blimp or, or not. Looks like they're taking batteries off. For anyone wondering, the camera is currently being powered by a battery. So this could be very bad for us. Someone suggested putting the Hindenburg's logo on the tail fins of the blimp, but I think that would just be very bad luck, so we aren't going to do that. Looks like they're leaving us. Oh, that's terrible. He's trying to say something to us. Oh no, this is it. I think this is it. He's taking our battery. This is really bad. Goodbye guys. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, check out today's vlog. Goodbye.